Hi guys, so just another quick video to show you how SEMrush sensor works. So it's another product from SEMrush um, and it's a great tool to gauge whether there's a lot of movement within the rankings. So obviously I'm sure as many of you will be doing client work, you'll get the clients going up saying, I've slipped three positions for X, Y and Z and uh, you can have a look around using the SEMrush sensor to find out roughly you know what's going on so where you'll find SEMrush sensor is if you go log into your SEMrush account scroll down to the bottom part on the left hand side you'll see the wee part that says sensor click on that and you can obviously choose whatever database you like whether that's USA UK and so on um, obviously I'm in the UK so I'm going to stick to the UK you can have a look at desktop versus mobile. And where do SEMrush come up with this data? SEMrush obviously crawls um, millions of websites and is able to determine whether there's a lot of movement within keywords. And obviously everything that goes on in the background, it will give you a score out of 10 um, based on the kind of movement that's in that industry. So at present, which is today, Sunday the 7th of October 2018, they are saying it's 2.8 out of 10, so just an ordinary day, um, you know, some sites will go up and down on a daily basis or whatever, nothing to worry about, there's not a lot of stuff going on here, that's <coughs> kind of across all categories, now they are suggesting that other categories are moving about, like news websites for example, 6.7 out of 10, so it's saying there that there's position changes for numerous websites and Google are shaking the results up. So there is possibly a sign of an algorithm change, it says here. And you can see the kind of SERP volatility for the last 30 days. And you can kind of see what sort of SERP features are moving, whether it's featured snippet, local pack, shopping results, knowledge panel, and so on. And uh, it does also give you SEMrush's opinion on the updates to Google algorithm over the last 30 days. So it will give you a guide as to any kind of updates that there is released out there. Obviously Google never release the exact um, information in terms of what's going on with their algorithm, but the community in general will sort of have a rough idea whether there's something going on or not based on all the kind of data and everything else that's going on. So you can <coughs> you can look at that and you know if you're in the kind of health niche or whatever it's you, you know you can have a look at the you know the kind of health niche and it'll tell you it's 0 0.9 out of 10 um, and there's not a lot of movement going on today um, in that market and so on so you can scroll through all the kind of different niches um, you know everything though what I would say is a guide it just gives you a wee guide as to whether there's a lot of movement within multiple rankings um, so it's more of a guide than anything else you know it's never as with any tool is never going to be 100 percent accurate and you can't you know hold it accountable or whatever but uh, it does give you a good overview and some information as to whether there's movement there so that's the overview personal score you can monitor your personal score for your project so you can calculate you know everything there you can set that up um, and you can obviously get notifications and whatnot uh, based on your own projects. You can also, you know, click on deviations and you'll see the kind of ups and downs on a day to day basis. Nice little graph, and that's something, you know, you can use for a number of reasons, including reporting to clients or whatever as well. Just educate them that, you know, things do move about and it's not always your fault. And winners and losers. So the winners and losers there, um, they cal you know, SEMrush calculate the average movement of URLs in the top 20, and the winners and losers present you the most affected domain names daily. So um, Sensor tracks a limited set of keywords, and it's not absolute across the whole World Wide Web, but it's more of a sample um, of what's going on there, and you know, you can see the winners and losers there. Um, today, um, if that, that's the winners, that's the losers. So you can have a look at that kind of stuff as well. But 
<coughs> I think it's a great tool just for a general overview and, and just to kind of get a hand on whether um, there's movement within your niche or across the board or whatever. Um, and obviously that happens from time to time and it just means that you don't have to panic or whatever. Um, just let things settle back down. But it's a great little tool as a guide and, and you know can be a good little gimmick for the customers as well to keep them off your back. And you can also embed this widget on your website by, you know, if you want it small, large, whatever, whatever database, desktop or mobile, and you can also put in all categories or whatever category you work in and just embed that iframe onto your website if you would like to have that on your website. So quite a cool tool. And also just to let you know that there's FAQs here and if you have any feedback or any features that you would like to see on SEMrush using this particular tool, then the guys there are always welcoming uh, feedback um, to make the tool better. So you can also click the button, send feedback and tell them, you know, if there's an issue or if there's any good suggestions you can uh, suggest that will help improve this tool. So that is just a brief overview of the same rush sensor.